It's Wednesday, October 19th. You're listening to Your Florida Daily. I'm Katrina Scales. Lying and the How cheating, gullible the do lying you think, the, Florida? The, the the lying is, the now, the lying is going to be fact do you I'm think? Sure it was I'm a sure. shouting match at times last night as Senator Marco Rubio and his Democratic challenger Val Demings faced off in their only debate. The extremist on abortion in this campaign is Congresswoman Demings. From abortion rights. Denying the right to buy it is not going to keep them from doing that. Here's the fundamental issue. Gun control. After Parkland, after you made promises that you had no intentions on keeping to the parents of Parkland, Florida passed legislation raising the age to have an assault weapon. The two had opposing views on almost every topic discussed. You say something that makes no sense. What what makes no sense is that we're going to actually pass laws that only law-abiding people will follow and criminals will continue to violate. The truth of the matter is, at the end of the day, that Americans have a Second Amendment right to protect themselves. Rubio is seeking his third term in the Senate. Demings, a former Orlando police chief, has been in Congress since 2016. A man wanted for questioning after four gruesome murders in Oklahoma has been arrested in Florida. Police picked up Joseph Kennedy in Daytona Beach Shores yesterday. He was found in a car that was reported stolen out of Oklahoma, where four men were found in a river, shot and dismembered. Chief Joe Prentice with the Okmulgee Police Department in Oklahoma. We believe the men planned to commit some type of criminal act when they left the residence on West 6th Street. That belief is based on information supplied by a witness who reports they were invited to go with the men to quote-unquote hit a lick big enough for all of them. Kennedy is being charged in Florida for stealing the car. He's currently in the Volusia County Jail on no bond. And a snake from Florida, sneaked on board a flight from Tampa to Newark this week. That's according to the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. Reports show the snake slithered through the United Flight's business class, causing passengers to shriek and pull up their legs. It's still not clear how the little garter snake made it onto the two-hour flight, but they are common in nearly every part of Florida. And yes, cue the references to snakes on a plane. You can find these top stories along with breaking news, weather, and traffic all day on ClickOrlando.com. Meteorologist Troy Bridges has your Florida forecast. We are heating up only to a high of 69 degrees, so not even making it up to 70 for most of Central Florida after starting off in the 40s and 50s. Grab a jacket. It's going to be chilly for a couple of mornings. Have a great one. And now a completely random Florida fact. A massive hurricane nearly wiped Miami off the map. The Category 4 storm arrived in September of 1926, killing hundreds and leaving many more homeless. In memory of the catastrophe, the University of Miami nicknamed their athletic teams the Hurricanes. Your Florida Daily is produced by News 6 WKMG in Orlando. I'm Katrina Scales. Make sure to subscribe for new episodes wherever you like to listen.